I like it. This is my one of my favorite things though. This is a Jack Skellington snow globe I got from uh, Disney when I went with my sisters. And I bought it outside the Haunted Mansion. And like one side of his face is evil and the other is happy. And when you shake it, there's bats. Nice. Oh my god, I love it. I love snow globes. I've had this thing for like, maybe 13 years. The fact that it's bats just like elevates it to another level. Yeah, Like no. You know what my least favorite part about snow globes is? What? Too much snow. Oh. I, yeah, you're right. They should be filled with so many other things. Like, what if they made, like, a little autumn leaf kind of snow globe? Oh, that's fantastic. Go to Canada. I'm sure they have them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet you're right. Yeah. We I should mean, go I still, to Canada. I still feel like that's in a really original thought. Yeah. Confetti would even just be cool. Yeah, like in a birthday party kind of setting. Yeah, the glitter snow globes are cool, though. Yeah. Those exist. Mm -hmm. Those exist. Those are fun. Yeah, yeah, they are fun. Like kaleidoscopes, like you're in a store and you go in and look at them or you shake a snow globe. Could they also <laughs> not just like put a little propeller in there? So it's yeah. always blowing. Why? Okay, I, I really think I should, I should, I'm going to make the snow globe of tomorrow. <laughs> How are you going to do that, Brody? Uh, once this Astroglide money gets in, after I cash that check. Yes. Oh yeah, let's give, no, do we have any updates for Astroglide? Oh yeah, Astroglide updates. Uh... Uh, first of all, this is One Frame Off. It's a movie podcast with me, Brody. And I'm Jess. My name is Rose. And we also have Gertie in the house. Gertie's yeah. in the house. Yeah, we're back to our normal location, kind mm. of. Different configuration. The tiny nerd room. The tiny nerd room. It's what it is. I, I love it for yep. what it is. It, it's a tiny nerd room. Anyway. It's wonderful. It's where I hide, hide all my, uh, they're not even weird. Just like obsessions, I your collectibles. guess. Collectibles. You're collectible. Your yeah, things. I don't like them just outside the regular decor of the house, but like, fuck, just jammed into one space, it looks really nice. nice. I mean, at least you have a variety, unlike me, who has a corner dedicated to Funko Pops. Yeah. But anyways, back to business. Sorry. Astroglide. As you may know, probably about a fortnight ago, we sent a message over to Astroglide thinking we're probably just sending them a pity email. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? Astroglide got back to us. They yeah. did, yeah. Yep, they said, hey, you guys seem like cool dudes. And I think it's fair to say that we're, I'm not going to get a sponsorship from them, but we can get probably like a t-shirt from them or something. I'm um, really hoping for an yeah. Astroglide t-shirt. Astroglide t-shirt. Yeah, I think that that's what it is. And our check for $10. That's yeah. all I want. I wouldn't even cash it. I would just frame it. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I would. I'd be way too proud to cash that thing. No. What if we got ten dollars worth of lube though? Even better. Yeah. What would you do? With lube? Yes. Whatever I want. Yeah. I would. I would put it in my hair, and it would grow back. I would uh, rub it on my feet, and they wouldn't hurt anymore. You can literally do anything with Astroglide. It's a miracle substance. It's like flubber. And it'll cure cancer one day. I love the it's like flubber analogy. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'll probably use it for what it's for. <laughs> nice. Anyways, like I said, one frame off. We're back with uh, some more polka talk. Yes. Talking about Pokemon. It is our favorite subject as of late. It's something in general. That, yeah, you put us in a room and just say talk about Pokemon. We're going to go for like a solid hundred hours on that. We could. But before we begin, what are we drinking today? Good oh, question. Yeah. That's a great question. Uh, for me, I got from uh, Old Rasputin, the Ooh. Russian Imperial Stout. I went and got me a big beer. Ooh, yeah. man, that's uh, that's some heavy stuff. I like that it just says in quotes on the bottom, never say die. <laughs> yeah, Old Rasputin's extremely popular. Mm -hmm. Is it the, is it nitro or... It's not a nitro. I think It's just a regular old stout, but... Their nitro do be good. They yeah, do, yeah. They do That's, the old dark stuff. I believe really I've well. only had it on nitro. Mm -hmm. I am drinking. Oops, just bumped my mic. I am drinking um, Edmonds Oast uh, Sour Cranberry Lime, and this is a brewery out of uh, Charleston, South Carolina, and it's just amazing. But their sours, in particular, are quite good. They do lots of fun and fresh, fruity flavors. Yeah, Edmonds Oast, they do like they, they do a really good job. They do sours way better than I think like their usual IPAs. They have a good blonde that I like. All right. Yeah, they have a I forgot what it's called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got my trusty artifact here. <laughs> no new friends. Classic. Always a good one. Mm -hmm. No new cider. 
I like the nope. thing. I like that I haven't really repeated a drink yet on here. Whereas like Rose is just like. Nope, you, I've got my corner. Yeah, you know your favorites. You know what you like. You literally do now too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, so we're not in our normal configuration. Yeah, we. I, am in, I have a corner now. Yeah, Rose is in the corner now. I, I've been put in the corner. <laughs> with the tree. With and, the tree, I've got. I'm sharing my corner with the tree. I love it. It's a little bit awkward because it's like I'm turning my head a lot more because I, I want to talk into the microphone, but when I want to have a conversation with you, I gotta turn around. Yeah, you have to turn to look at me. Typically, we'll I would be it. in like in the middle between the if two. It's effective. Yeah, if, if it's we, effective, we usually do this like we're seated Last Supper style. Yeah, all yeah. facing I, the yeah, wall that's a great directly. Way to put it. It's, although I will say one thing that would fix this: two mirrors. One mirror that I can look at there, one mirror you can look at at the other <laughs> side of the room, and then it would be like a weird infinity, but I would definitely be able to see you. It would definitely make the room look bigger. I think we have too many things on the walls for that, but I like But here, look at this way. Instead of buying more things, let's get an entire wall that's two of everything you have. Boom. Mirror. <laughs> okay, Andy Warhol. <laughs> That's such a compliment. You don't even know it. I do. I, I'm a, a very big Andy Warhol person. Nice. Have you not seen my shelf? I've read like his di- diary multiple times. I'm looking at your shelf and not I'm seeing shelf. Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Moral Oral, Terry Scare. You got a lot of Adult Swim stuff. Oh my God. Adult Swim shit me. Don't, don't forget L. Oh, well, she's got L. She has L on her body tattooed like five Yeah, I don't That tattoo that. is like kick ass. I know. It's amazing. I don't need that many... Um, Death Note paraphernalia. I, I have it on my body forever. Mm-hmm. You are looking the for a, Yeah, pretty much at this point. L, getting either an L or a Ryuk. Funko Pop is on my list. I had to find them. I would like a Ryuk tattoo. That is something that I would be very into. I think if I ever got a Ryuk tattoo, it'd just be him with the red apple. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. Perfect imagery. You could do a chibi Ryuk eating an apple. Aww. Aww. Yeah, make them all cute. That's very tonally confusing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Brody, you kind of went to art school before, or like, well, you did go to art school, but you know what I mean. Not the mm-hmm. same art school that I went to. And I was just going to ask you about Andy Warhol. Did you have any teachers just rant about Andy Warhol ever? I did film, I did well, like did art f- school, but like it was definitely film focused. Well, he made movies too. Yeah. He once just filmed a person sleeping for like 14 hours. This Bruh. was back when they first discovered video in general. And they were just like, if you can... You can call well, it not even like movie. first discovered it, but it was like um, the video cameras that you could like easily buy, like that were accessible, got a lot better. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he filmed some weird shit. I didn't have fourteen like, hours though. It was a really maybe twelve. He was sleeping okay. for a while. He was sleeping. He was sleeping longer than eight hours, and it's the full. Re- and he had people do a screening of the full fucking thing. But they wasn't all like on drugs, so it's fine. Did the guy, did he consent to that? I mean, that's kind of creepy. Of course he consented. Yeah. He knew it was happening. Mm. Okay. Are you kidding? He he probably was like one of the factory goers. (laughs) Yeah. He's like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if you filmed me while I sleep? Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go. I'll see you in 15 hours. Yeah, that's how that conversation (laughs) went. (laughs) I read it. I read it in his diary. (laughs) I didn't have a professor who was really into like a film guy or an art guy. I had a film professor who was really into Michael Bolton. <laughs> Just wasted that's, a whole day talking about that. Is the is Office Space's favorite movie? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> You should have asked. But I do know he, <laughs> he has, like, he just, like, every time he hears, <laughs> he just has to, like, just stop everything he's doing and just, like, feel the music for a minute. I don't think Michael, Michael Bolton's that good. He was, he's definitely an icon I don't of really sorts. like Yacht Rock that much, though. Eh. <sighs> okay, I was just curious, because I had an art teacher that in particular um, went on a rant about Andy Warhol. Mm-hmm. And um, how uh, untalented she thought he was. Yeah, but we're not here to talk about our art school weirdos and the people we've met in the. If you guys like it though, we absolutely can. We can, but one thing we definitely can do is talk about Pokemon, and there is a lot to talk about because for the past few weeks we've all been playing Legends of Arce- Arceus like crazy. Yes, mm-hmm. I'm still a f- no. I am a four star trainer now four star way to go that's I'm decent like, that's decently far you can beat the game at five yeah really yeah like you don't have to get all of them it's more just like 
completion at that point. I, I like it, and I hope they add more stars or a different system with DLC. Yeah. Oh, different rankings would be cool. Different rankings. Like, like at what point do they call you a Pokemon master in that game? Is that just like rank 10, like 10 stars? I wonder if they're going to take like the um, Fallout 4 route with... Uh... <laughs> what's the settlement called that you the oh, the Minutemen the I wonder Minutemen. if they're gonna be like the Minutemen when it comes to leaders and it's like we need your help the settlement needs your help <laughs> yeah a settlement needs your help I'll put a marker on your map ghouls are attacking yeah <laughs> there's a herd of Chikorita terrorizing this farm we need your help well, I mean, people are terrified of Pokemon in this game. As yeah. they should. As yes. they fucking yeah, no. should. And I think that's a stark, one of the best, my favorite differences between this game and the rest of the like Pokemon universe. What about the Dark Drifloom story? Oh, yeah. So Where it's like, the so classic Pokedex entry for Drifloom is that it'll like abduct children. Yeah, because, it lures children Because and they look them. like balloons, like a little balloon on a string. And they're ghost Pokemon. Yeah. All ghost Pokemon do weird shit. I but mean, it, Haunter just kind of pranks you and then goes away. Yeah. Not, this in, this, one, not in this game. This one's, yeah. this this one's one nabbing like, your kids. Yeah, no, this one's straight up. I have never had so kid. much disdain for a Paris in my entire life. It's, <laughs> it, it's too powerful for what it is. Everything's amped up, and I'm actually uh, not against that. I'm s- the, this game is much more difficult, and I love it. I think that's a good time to talk about what the actual like meat and potato story is of this game. Yeah, we're getting ahead of ourselves so here. So the main premise is you are a young boy or girl in the Pokemon world, and I think the implication is that you're sent back in time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've fallen through a black hole of sorts. Yeah. A time rift. A time Thank rift. Thank you. Yes. Flux capacitor. Yeah. You Doc. circle. Uh, Superman circles around the Earth a bunch of times. You, you've all click, seen no, it. Click the shoes. Time travel. But anyways, uh, he. You go back in time to before Pokemon were like domesticated. Before there were trainers. Back when people before feared Pokemon, Pokemon were as like, like sort of members of society, but definitely yeah, before um, they were like integrated pets. together. At the, like, let's be honest. Yeah. We'd, we'd like to say that, like, oh, they work together, like, in Detective no, they're, Pikachu, they're te- but they're, yeah. they're pets. They're, they're pets. subservient. But before that... And it, happily so. But before that, you were in, like, certain settlements, and you joined the Survey Corps, and you try to find the monsters and the dangerous things that are Pokemon. Yeah, you have to go out and collect information on them through mm-hmm. doing different tasks. And everyone thinks you're a creep and a weirdo for not fearing Pokemon. And I wish that that was all the plot was. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I I don't hate the introduction of other, like, small, like, uh, we can say, I think they're called clans. They right. They'll exist throughout um, each different part of the map. Mm-hmm. There's the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan who are sort of at ends with each other. Yeah. I don't know why, though. I, it doesn't make sense to me. I, I Yeah, I don't know why, because I skipped through all of that stuff. Yeah, no, I smashed the A button the whole time. I couldn't there was smash it faster. people talking. Yeah. <laughs> um the the their character design is cool though i'll say that yeah, yeah. everybody's outfits but your outfits are bomb <laughs> what we'll the get, fuck we'll get to the customization later but uh other than that like are there any real plot details to it that we need to know other than just like what are these houses what it's what's like the actual conflict going on no i don't think any of it's imp- oh um i guess it would be important to say that there is a strange lightning that can affect some some Pokemon and turn them into like just angry angry rage machines. Mm-hmm. So that could have potentially have a bad effect on everything. But that's actually main, kind of important. But my main thing that's like a critique of the game is like I hate the way it just all slows down, so that way you can not read anything that's happening. I feel like context alone could sell a lot of stuff. No, I, I agree with you entirely. I, Pokemon is strength is not in its storytelling. Mm-hmm. Like the overall idea is wonderful, but it is a children's game, and it's just not that interesting story wise. True. Yeah. The Blast one that I played that I actually liked the story and semi paid attention was uh, Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon was my first one, and I liked that plot line. I really did. I think it's pretty good. They could have made it, a, like, shortened it up a little bit or cut out some stuff, but, like, the the outline of it was good. There's, like, a there's like a meteorite coming to Earth in Sun and Moon, right? Yes. Yeah. It's part of the plot. Okay. And then you had, like, um, not Team Rocket, but, like, Team Skull. 
Yeah. And you also had um, the Ultra. Hmm. Uh, what? You had, like, who was it? The Ultra dudes? Do you know who I'm talking about? The guys oh, who, like, travel the Ultra They're thing? aliens. Yeah, they travel through the wormhole. That, yeah. The inclusion of that was actually really fun. Yeah, that's cool. And then, like, the Pokemon Beast or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, th- those are cool. I don't really, like, care for a lot of the designs, but the fact that they just call what would we would say are just like, those are aliens, not Pokemon. They're like, nope, Pokemon, gonna catch you. Woo! <laughs> I think when we started making Pokemon into gods and aliens is when the story kind of went off the rail. Yeah. Cause, what was it like? Uh, what, what? Yeah, what does that say Ruby about and... humans' place on Earth if Pokemon created everything? And we can catch the Pokemon. And we can catch the Pokemon. And make them fight for money. You can catch a god Pokemon and make it do your bidding. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. I, again, it is for kids. So I don't even well, ever play with legendaries when I catch them. I feel like it's cheating. I feel I weird like, doing it. I, 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 I like do too. Playing with them. Mm-hmm. No, I really do. It's a lot of fun. I never do. Sometimes it just makes thing everything feel too easy. It makes it feel like it's too easy, and then it's like, well, when if you're playing with other people, they're like, yeah, well, look at you. I guess you didn't have any other good Pokemon. You just got to use the, the last good one you caught. Oh, that just kind of hurts your feel. It hurts your feelings when you're good at something, and someone just kind of like discredits you. It's just like, but I put a lot of work into it. It's like, yeah, everyone gets that Pokemon. We all get it. <laughs> yeah, everyone got the Master Ball. Yeah, everyone got the fucking Master Ball, and everyone caught that Pokemon. Look at my shiny sand shrew. <laughs> Brody, I looked it up, and the difference between the Diamond and Pearl clan, mm-hmm. one thinks that the um, the almighty Shino is the god of time, and the other one believes Shino is the god of space. So it's just a religious difference between the two. Oh, I was going to say that that um, a lot of the Pokemon, uh, especially included in the boss battles in this game, all have some religious significance to I the world I think maybe that's them. why I've skipped through all this and don't care, because it, it, it's just like, oh, this whole Pokemon series is just boiling down to whose god is right. I don't care. I mean, I liked it in Sun and Moon where they're just legendaries. Like, strictly speaking, oh, there's yeah, a story, like, there's um, a legend. An Alolan spirit or sor- of sorts. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. a like a island spirit that watches over everyone there. Like that, like, and I get that that's I like that. also semi-religious. Yeah, but, but it just has a different, um, like, connotation, connotation and feel. Well, I like the, more the idea of, like, the god of the land. And I like that it actually kind of matches pretty well with the inspiration of Hawaii. Yeah, you know? agreed. The... I would much like it more if these god Pokemon were represented more in a way where it's like, look, they like, they're, um, they like watch over the land and take care of it. Yeah. I mean, you do have the lords though. The the lords? the lords, the lords, uh, the lord Pokemon blah 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 of the Pearl Clan, it, and you like it watches over this forest or something. Oh yeah, those are the alphas those... that like get oh, the lightning. The yeah, alphas. the alphas. They, yeah, they don't get dead by the lightning. Mm-hmm. So that's still included. But yeah, no, I get what you're saying with like the whole god. Like, oh, the almighty Shino. I'm like, oh. Well, yeah. I haven't completed the storyline, so I don't really know. I think it's like some god you are. Now get in this tiny prison. Yes. Right? I am your master. I am your master. I am 10 years old and I have mastered you, god. Mm-hmm. Also, what's the point? Okay. What is the plot point or does it have a plot point? Your um your phone? Yeah, that's just Yeah, the professor's just like Oh, wow, what's that strange device? Convenience, I yeah. think, really. For some yeah. reason, like, every Nintendo game They could have just made it look like, like a, a scroll phone. that you just flip. That's what I'm saying. Just, like, make a map. Yeah, make, make a map make and a, a notebook. Yeah, yeah, plenty of other games have done it. I know. But, but having like said phone? that, I don't really want that, and I'm fine with the phone. <laughs> yeah, but what, what, what point is there to have a phone, though? Uh, so you can call God and be like, Arceus? Hey, Yeah, but you can't me. call Arceus. Arceus calls you, He though. sends you text messages. Yeah, he sends you random text messages. And I'm like, what is the point of this? Arceus got a Pokemon, just texts his 10-year-old boy, like, you up. Like, hey, go do this for me. Yeah. It's like, why? I don't know why. Because they didn't want to get rid of the, like, Rotom phone or whatever idea. Well, that works. Like, it ev- creeped me out works. at first. It's what, like a little buddy. A... It, it's creepy, like an electric Pokemon, like just in your phone, has to run your phone. Yeah, but I mean that kind of makes it's sense. Siri. Though. What if they just renamed it Siri? Like there was a Pokemon named Siri, 
And it I was... do like that Rotom has different forms, though. And like when he's his ice form, he's a tiny refrigerator. Yeah. Oh my it's god, kind of amazing. it's adorable. Yeah, it's so fucking cute. Anyways, how does this tie into like all the other games around it? I know it takes place in Sinnoh, uses the same like area and stuff, but like, wh- what? How does this fit into like the grand scheme that is? Aren't they in? Um... What's the time? Like ancient feudal, you feudal. could say. Feudal yeah. Japan. Feudal Japan, yeah. Yeah, it's feudal Japan. Uh, there's some location tie-ins. I know specifically like Floroma mm-hmm. town. Um, there's a place, I think, in the... the what's the, the something lowlands? Oh, um, Obsidian. Oh, Obsidian, I think. Yeah, Obsidian lowlands. Um, there's like a giant patch of dead flowers and... Uh, I think, I think like a little thing like comes up and like oh flowers used to grow here but now they don't anymore but then someone gave their appreciation to shaman which i guess in this context is a god of flowers as a little pokemon have yeah. you seen shaman no no it's a it's literally a hedgehog oh my god i love it i love that hang on let me pull up Are an we... image this is shaman oh my god it's an actual hedgehog I love hedgehogs. Well, this one is a hedge. Holy shit. Oh. It's a little chia pet. I'm going to get you that tattoo. It's really bubble? happy. It grows. Are you, did you just say you're going to get a tattoo of it? Yeah. I showed no. it to you for five seconds. Yes. You need to see the evolved form. It's cute, but I don't like how it doesn't look like a hedgehog anymore. Yeah. Which is upsetting. It's like when you, like, you see Spoink for the first time. And you're like, <laughs> oh my god. Fucking spoiler. There's so many cute That's pictures. That's an axolotl, isn't it? Who? Oh, it's the same one. It's okay. Shaman. Holy shit. Wait, yeah, a- Spoink. Which when I first saw Spoink, I was like, no fucking way. This is my new favorite Pokemon. Also, and then I see what it involves into, and I'm like, how in the fuck could you do that to Spoink? That's stupid. Also, best named Pokemon. Maybe. Oh, Spoink. Spoink. Absolutely. It's fun to say. Spoink is so underrated. It would be one of the most popular Pokemon if it didn't evolve into that fucking garbage yeah, fire. Right. If it was just Spoink, I think more people would like it. Hold on, I have to Google what Spoink's evolution is because I've never evolved it. Oh, it just looks like a stupid like, fucking purple pig. Yeah, purple pig. Purple pigman. Yeah. Hi, Gertie! Spoink's a sidekick Pokemon, too. There's plenty of, like, one evolution side. I'm just saying you can do it again. Yeah. My fa- One of my favorite Pokemon that's not, like, an Eevee evolution is um, Bunnery. Buttery? Bun- bunnery. Low oh, Bunnery. Low Bunny or bunnery. whatever. Low Bunny. Yeah, Low Bunny. I like it. Kind of weirds me out. Oh, I like it. A little too anthropomorphic for me. Yeah. 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 Uh, you just have a general problem with anthropomorphic Pokemon, like yeah. Gardevoir. Like yeah. ones that look too human. I don't like it. I don't but like it But you just know like they're animals. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Hmm. They're treated like other Pokemon. I don't like it. Weirds me out. Okay, so there, are, so there is some connectivity between Diamond and Pearl and uh, Pokemon Arceus Legends. We only know about that one, I think. I mean, we have the Diamond and Pearl clan. That's true. And then there's whatever Zoho is. Oh yeah, Zoho. Who are like traitor clans, but there's like some weird twist about them be- being Satanists. I had no fucking idea. I mean, that sounds amazing. I wish they would just like go, I think, go a little more into the Satanist stuff. Yeah. We need to know more about the, this. The yeah. We, we didn't about, pay attention. Hold on. Are you talking about we, the... We didn't pay attention at all. The, the dudes who travel around? Yeah. The, 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 the gold-headed dude? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like him. I don't, you know, you know, what's so funny is I don't ever pay attention to every, any of that. And it's like in my head when I'm, they're talking, I give them like Swedish accents. <laughs> <laughs> is that we the Swedes? Yeah. We come to sell you berries. We want that, to catch like, the Pokemon. That's yeah, literally the devil. like when I like see them, I just repeat that in my head and skip, 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 skip. These are Swedish <laughs> dudes selling me fucking berries. The other guy might have some good stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I like him good though. Price. That the main traitor, you You see, my read? interpretations without having to read the text, way better. Mm-hmm. Way better. I don't know. Oh, I, I make my own plot. Yeah, pretty much. I think, I think the best way that this game could have worked both in plot and in its mechanics is if it was literally just like, hey, we don't know anything about Pokemon at this point. We don't know anything about the world you're going to go in, but we're going to parachute you in and you just do whatever the fuck you want after that. Yeah. I think that would have been better. Just have so, go full open world, 
have the plot not hold your hand as much and just kind of let you loose. Agreed. Mm -hmm. It's what we really want. Yeah. Just let me go hog wild on these Pokemon. That's it. Yeah, and just say fuck it to the main quest and just keep going off on your own. There is exactly. no main quest. I'll finish the Pokedex. Seek out all Pokemon. Yes, yeah, seek out all the Pokemon. Like, what would that even look like then? Just an open world... Hi, Gertie. Open well, it would world look like what you're game. doing. There would be, like, objectives on your left-hand side. Mm -hmm. And then you're just in the world. And you could build camps. And I still want there to be small settlements of NPCs. You know... So I can go shopping, pretty much. That's it. Yeah. But I think once you actually are in the world, it's, like, way more satisfying than anything that, like, Pokemon has really put out in a while. Yes. It's... The mechanics of it are not the same formula of just randomly bumping into shit and then just, like, going into this whole battle world. I think, like... I just really love it. I was telling Jess, it's like, I texted you this. It's just like, yo, catching a Pokemon from like meters away that you lured with like a bean cake or something and then just like getting it lost behind is just as satisfying as landing a really good headshot in COD. Yeah, it is. I like that they have made battles overall less meaningful. You don't have to battle a lot in this game if mm -hmm. you don't want to. Yeah. Battles are just like way quicker too. Yeah, they're way quicker. I'm so glad they sped up random encounters like that, especially when you're just running into so many wild Pokemon. It just make, makes things way better. Yeah. But having said that, um, they have massively leveled up wild Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I do like the fact that Pokemon run away from you though. They don't just run at yes. you or towards you. They start running, away, like, certain Pokemon who it's like, oh, this Pokemon is quote-unquote shy, but it ran at you. Now the shy Pokemon run away, so mm -hmm. you have to go chasing them. I'm the menace Yeah, and now. the Abras teleport per Pokemon usual. run from me. Oh, yeah. yeah, I actually, like, I, I, I get, I, it's supposed to exist. It's wonderful. It's world building. But fuck, it's so annoying when you're just like, I only have to catch three more of you. Come back. Stop fucking seeing me. Come back. You fucking use the stealth spray and a smoke bomb. Yeah. And they'll still run. I, I Yeah, but I mean, it's so satisfying, though, when you can catch a Pokemon off guard and catch it just, like, from behind. Like, it gives you the option to sneak up on Pokemon oh, yeah. now. Especially the alphas. Like, just run around. Because that's how I, I've been catching the alphas. It's like, I run it's around the behind them. Mm -hmm. And I throw a Pokeball at him. Yeah. And then I run like hell when the, the Pokemon breaks. The inclusion of yeah. alphas in general is a new mechanic in the game that I'm really enjoying. Uh, they are just <laughs> They're gigantic huge. versions of them, of whatever uh, breed of Pokemon Whatever Pokemon they are. is sort of in the region. In my mind, I like to think that they're like the king of that area. No, they're just the big can... baddies. But the best thing is, is uh, when you catch them, they, are, they remain that big. Yeah. Yeah. And they're that big in the overworld and in, in battles. I caught an Alpha Mime Jr. And I think you did too. Oh my god. That's the weirdest fucking thing. I it's... unfortunately evolved it. I need to go catch another one. Oh, so you got I... a way bigger Mr. Mime? Yeah. I don't like that. I'm my trying... favorite Alpha is my Alpha Steelix. So <laughs> huge. So I'm... big the animations don't line up when it's smashing rocks Well, there's some stuff. Pokemon that just work being like these huge Ponyta. gigantic monsters. Yeah. But I've been trying my damnedest to catch that fucking Ponita. I can't for the life of me. I've got mm. the um, Alpha Gudra too that I love. Oh I do my like god! Where is Gudra? We'll talk about it after. It's on. It's on an island. The Crimson of Mar or marshes or bogs or whatever. There's an island. I think you. I think you need to be able to surf to get to it. God damn it! Yeah, you've got to be able to surf. Oh, I've been trying to catch a Gudra. I love Gudra. I do too. Like and, my... Well, and they have a redesign for this region. I've heard they're like giant snails. I yeah, like that I, more. I've seen them. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah Especially love... making it steel type. Yeah, I love that. That's just like a very good... steel type now? Yeah, it's steel a dragon, dragon steel type. Which basically makes it immune from everything other than ground type moves. Yep. No, fairy. You can still... No, Wait. because uh, steel beats fairy. Yeah, steel beats fairy. Oh, shit. You're right. I forgot about that. It may be fighting. But yeah. whatever. You could... It doesn't matter. You can that's one, two you can, weakness. You can one oh, shot we have a normal ghost type now, too, don't that's we? That's right. That's another redesigned one. I forget the name. I know it starts with a Z. Uh, it's a big foxy fella. I haven't seen that one yet. It's, it's in the uh, the icy land. Yeah. I haven't gotten there yet. You have mm -hmm. to go around dusk, I think. I haven't gotten to there yeah. either. 
but it's like around nighttime or dusk that you can catch it. I yeah, just, I have seven stars, but I've not completed the game. Yeah, I just bumped into a tunnel where I saw like a tiny one and then evolved it. Isn't it great? The the I I, I do like how the spawn encounters work in this game. Oh. How um exciting it is when you actually find a rare encounter because it's a lot yeah. harder to seek out specific Pokemon in this game. <clears throat> I mean, obviously you can like look up where they are, but even that, still then it's a lot of fucking work. Well, I think like the big. Like, word of the day with this game that opposes all of its predecessors is the idea of just exploring the land around you. It's the grind. It's the grind. It's the fucking grind. And this is how the first games were. They were a fucking grind. The first games were a fucking grind, but a very specific grind. This one is more like the grind that sort of rewards you with the ability to grind more. Yes. You get these new Pokemon that help you master the terrain around you and open up new areas. Where they load up with more Pokemon. Yeah, and then you can also go back to older areas and rediscover new parts with your mount's different abilities. Yeah. Yep. Do you want to talk about the mount mechanics a little bit? I like that, yeah. The mount mechanics is you get like a funny little flute and you can summon... It's very Zelda. You can... of Zelda. Yeah. Well, okay, so you make friends with different lords of different areas. Like we right. were talking about the lord Pokemon. And then you're given a flute and you can play a certain tune to summon different different lords because they're like oh hey you gave me lots of food i'm your friend now i uh, hate it so much and that they didn't want to fucking have to animate every pokemon being a different mount so they do this system and like i don't fucking care i know you can do it i don't know if they can do it oh they can fucking do it what do they you don't mean by want that? to Think about, like, the poor guy who has to You should animate. be able to ride a fucking Bidoof around. But imagine, like, the... <laughs> <laughs> you just stand on it. Just imagine the guy oh who's just, like, working overtime so someone can saddle up on a Bidoof, though. Yeah. Yeah. Is it worth it, though? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, they, Well, when you say it's specifically Bidoof... <laughs> And you just ride it like a fucking donkey. I mean, they've been like doing a skateboard that. Skateboard is what I was envisioning. <laughs> I mean, they had that in Sun and Moon. Just yes. feet on feet on his face and just do a kickflip on a Badoof. So even at the very least, like Rose just said, they have it in Sun and Moon. They kind of do. It's the same thing though, and I don't. I yeah. Think, like fix they, it. They just copy and pasted it. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing, and it, at least in. Uh, is that Sun and Moon? Yeah, it is. In Sun and Moon, you can have a Pokemon follow you. Yeah, no. Sun and Moon, you can do that. Uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Is it Sun yes, and Moon? No, that. it is Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. When your uh, starter Pokemon gets to a certain evo- like the final evolution, it will follow you around. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I like that you can bring the Pokemon out of the balls to look at them. Yeah, but, but in, I wish they would game, follow you, can, you. Yeah, they can't follow you, which I think is bullshit. And let's too. go, they follow you. Yes. Mm. Let's go, they follow you as well. The Pokemon should be able to follow you in this game, and I know they're just gonna fucking add it. Onto a DLC like Sword and Shield did. Like, oh, in this area, Pokemon can follow you because they feel really friendly or some shit. We've mentioned a lot of stuff. No, there's even more mechanics I wanted to talk about. That crafting. This game is all mechanics. Yeah. yeah. Crafting. I love the crafting mechanic. I know we talked about it earlier, but that is one of my favorite aspects of this game. Yeah, if you're like an open world survival game, it's naturally going to have crafting in there. That's just the rule now. Yeah, I do like the fact that if you gather enough materials, you don't have to go back to a place, like keep bouncing back and forth to base camp to go buy Pokeballs. If I you like have it, but materials, as you get to a later game, it gets so much more annoying to have to get off your fucking mount and go like collect rock, like break uh, minerals. Yeah, at a yeah. certain point, like I just haven't bought anything in a while. And I, I, the, I'd rather just catch a ton of Pokemon and just uh, get money and then just go buy shit is what I've been doing. Yeah, I like at one point just bought like 300 Ultra Balls and called it a day yeah exactly it just now i will craft like the uh wing balls and stuff because those are fun well the wing balls and the jet balls those are fun the ones that you can like throw really fast the ones that just shoot yeah. straight yeah so there's some stuff that i particularly do like to craft and potions and shit too i will yeah because you can collect those on your mount you don't have to get off yeah but potions are really simple to make though mm-hmm. yeah, that's why i do it that's another thing i noticed like as opposed to like other games like the the economy is way different in this game like in this one you're always strapped for cash where i feel like in other games you just kind of like get money oh really i have constant money just constant constant i have money? a question about the yeah. economics though maybe that's like, more of a you and me thing yeah like, are I, you guys utilizing your farm in the village a little bit 
a little bit. I just okay. forget about it a but, lot. Yeah, no, I, I completely fucking forget that I have an alarm. No, my question is, so you get paid to do research. Mm-hmm. But, like, that's your own, really and truly only source of income. So, how does, like, who pays you to do the research and where do they get their money from? Because they're not traders. Like, this, this group. Did you see their palace? They're clearly collecting taxes from everybody. Oh, yeah. They got grants up the wazoo. Yeah. No. They're, they uh, run shit in that city. I like to believe it's like how most scientists and, get money. And one of the guys in the basement is, like, heavily involved with what gets or it controls what goods come into the town in general. Like, they control the trade. They've got plenty of money. They're, yeah, the, but, they're the government. Not a yeah, dime changes is, hands though, without in, that palace knowing about yeah. it. Yeah, but in the story though, they're they are the one they're the outsiders. They're the ones who came in and has to get a foothold in the in the island. Did you guys skip that? I skipped it, everything. We yeah. Yeah, so you start off and they're like, Oh yeah, we're the outsiders. We're trying to get a foothold and understand the island and such. So it's like, okay, great. But how the fuck did you get so much money to well, build so quickly? Maybe they're from like another bigger island that controls that island. Yeah, like maybe. And they just hadn't been there before. I don't know, cause like the thing about Diamond and Pearl—they are way too established. To yeah, have just been, the two clans uh, thrown together like that quickly mm-hmm. on the island. Yeah, the two clans like they don't really—they know that they're there and they're trying to establish relations with both the clans, but the clans don't trust each other and they don't trust you and your the people that you work for, so it's like. They are really, their skepticism and some of the uh, stuff that, like, their I interactions with I guess it just was never a concern to me. It's like, wow, thanks for paying me so much for doing my job. Where do you get your money to pay me? I'm like, well, thanks. You know what that reminds me of? The whole, like, talk about they the clans. They give you a pretty sweet to... house to sleep in. Yeah. yeah. The whole talk about, like, trying to have all these, like, houses and clans come together. You remember that like the bullshit part of Skyrim where it's all about <laughs> where it's all about having this big summit of all the world leaders and you have to lead the discussion to fix the world's politics. And I'm like, dude, I, I'm just here to yeet trolls off a mountain. <laughs> In Skyrim? Are you talking about like whenever you pick the Imperials or Stormcloaks? Yeah, like you gotta get really involved in their politics. You get to And you gotta solve everyone else's problems. That's like pretty much like what you do for everybody in the game. It's like, I have this issue, fix it for me. Yeah. Can you help me with this? Can you help me with this, Dragon? That's Ford? another thing I hated when I fucking beat the game. And then I'm just like, and it's just like, had this big congratulation sequence with all the people who battled me along the way. And I'm just like, you people have done nothing. <laughs> I, I didn't understand dick about what you said. And I fucking killed God. You guys don't know shit. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just curious, because we are in feudal Japan, and, like, from a story standpoint, it doesn't really make sense that they're just paying you to research Pokemon, even though the point is to research Pokemon to gain a better understanding of them when everybody around you is fucking terrified of them. Well, well let, let me put it this way. A lot if, of people in the research court aren't as terrified. They have Pokemon. They have a place to battle. Yeah. yeah. Let me put it this way. Yeah, but how much other... do you, How much do you think you get paid... To study crocodiles. Oh, nothing. Like oh. if we discover nothing. Not a lot. How, mu- how much do you get paid to study crocodiles? Bro? How much would you? Me personally. Yes. Uh, like ten bucks a day. I brush their <laughs> teeth. Um, you wouldn't have to get that close to study them. But like, imagine like getting really in. Like, imagine if we discovered crocodiles today. Mm-hmm. Crocodiles and alligators and all those funny fellas. And it's just like, oh, wow, this is an actual killing monster. I don't think um, scientists in those fields get paid that much. You don't think so? No, no. I don't think they do. What about Steve Irwin? What if What if you had he a TV crew with you? He only made money because he was on TV. Yeah. And he established the zoo. Yeah. Australia's, like, official zoo, he made that. Good for so him. So he, like, his, his financial income banked on TV and the zoo. That's what I want. I think he opened the zoo with his TV money. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. what I want this game to be now. I know it's already out, but I want it to change. If I could change one thing, it's that you were just Steve Irwin. You're not <laughs> this kid who's back in time or whatever. You're Steve just Irwin. Steve Irwin? Just oh, trying to God. fist fight these alpha Pokemon. No, he wouldn't 
fist fight them. He'd like sit there and lecture us about how cool they are. You want to be Russell mean. Crowe is who you want to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Russell Crowe. No, Steve Irwin would like go up and try to fucking hug it. Look, if I can punch up a doof, I would. <laughs> really? They can take. You're lying. Head. No, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> would you punch an alpha Bidoof then? Yeah, no. more face to punch. They would still be tiny. <laughs> I like that about the Pokemon though. Like, ev- like they actually will fuck you up. Like some of them are like more docile and they'll run away. But then there's other ones like you said, like the Paris that'll like shoot poison at you. Or- yeah, yeah, it's super fucking annoying. It's like I have places to be. Fuck, get out of my way. Oh, can. I talk about one more mechanic because you're talking about like taking damage. Yeah. I've always wondered because it was never fucking explained. Like when you lose a battle to a wild Pokemon, you black out Mm -hmm. and then you start somewhere else in the game. You have to go to the gate and tell like the gatekeepers where you're going. So if something happens to you, they come and get your ass and bring you back. I feel like that's the that's what they added for plot convenience for like to excuse the fact that it's not a true open world game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they I like have that, everything though. segmented between load screens on a map. Yeah, but I like I do and they're not like even that. it's not even that big of an open world on no. each map. Well, I I even hesitate to really call it an open world if it's like you still have to go to this hub to travel between the places. Agreed. Like I think like. A real open world would be something like a Breath of the Wild, where it's like if you, you could like walk from one end of the map to the other. Oh, I just got that. Stopping to me is an open world game. Oh, I just bought uh, Breath of the Wild today. Just now? Yeah, today. Congratulations, your life is going to be way better from here on out. <laughs> this really was the thing. I wanted to play Breath of the Wild after playing this. Wait, are you, you should... playing Breath of the Wild for the first time? Yeah, I've never played oh, it. Oh, treasure this. I I've never finished it. So the I, fuck out of this. I've I've played that game like seven or eight times. The first one, the first time playing it, is the best. That's how I feel about yeah. Skyrim. So I wish I, I could get it back so badly. I bought several. I of would definitely the, have like the Eternal Sunshine surgery on my brain to play that thing for the first time. Again. I would have it constantly for video games and movies. Mm-hmm. See, I bought a bunch of the Legend of Zelda video games. You, I think you have one of them, Jazz. Here, I, I do. Yeah. Yeah. And I just haven't had the time to sit down and play them. It takes so, so much today, time. So today, they really do. And today, I'm like, you know what? I'm out. I might as well just pick up Breath of the Wild and Link's Awakening. I bought both of them because I've been meaning to get them for that a while. That cute. It's like a chibi version of Zel- of uh, Link. Well, I even like chibi. It looks like mm-hmm. fucking like Playmobiles. Yeah, Y'all does. remember Playmobiles? Yes. Oh, he's so cute. Jess, did you ever play... Do you remember? Do you know Playmobiles? Oh. It was the poor man's Lego. It really was. Oh. I'm not familiar. Uh, it's I, obscure now. Everybody's you don't have to biggest. Uh, so we've said a lot of positive things. I, actually, it's not too much negative, mm-hmm. really, because who the fuck cares about the plot? <laughs> the biggest thing that um, everyone out there who hasn't played it has probably heard is that uh, people hate the graphics. You know, I just really got to say about the graphics the graphics really are fine i think like they were maybe going for like a different art style that didn't really work out but like lowering the graphics didn't really hurt the game that much like the trees don't look good but all the pokemon look good all the pokemon and all the moves look good and i think that's like the first priority with the pokemon game you know jess i think you equated it to a uh oil painting and i i do like the background Mm mm-hmm it's Especially so fucking sky. pretty. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that comparison a lot. It's yeah, I think such people a pretty are just game. looking for so much hyper realism, and that's never going to happen in a Pokemon game. Not in a Pokemon game. No, the Pokemon are going to look way uglier in hyper realism. <laughs> yeah, I remember when they did B- D- Detective Pikachu, and everyone was just like, "Why does Pikachu look furry?" And it's like, "Cause he's a fucking mouse. He's covered in fur. He covered has in fur. fur. He's covered All in these fur. Pokemon have fur." Most I like the deal. Pokemon. Okay, Detective Pikachu. I really do like the designs of the Pokemon. Yes, yeah, I thought it was great. Beautiful. Best they, part of the movie. The, really, truly. Aside from Ryan Reynolds voicing P- Pikachu. Oh, he just had way too much fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, he was having a great time. You probably told me about this. The fact that they had so many outtakes of Ryan Reynolds cussing. Uh, yeah. Like they could make a PG thirteen or rated R version of it. Oh, they should have. Oh, they should dude. have. For us. 
They could do a second release of the movie with just him cussing every now and then and sell it for double the money and I would buy it. Yeah, look, if you're a, if you're a editor in Hollywood and you just so happen to have the files on you, uh, money's no object. Make that happen. Exactly. <laughs> I, oh, I think I the graphics are fine. I, we've said this with other Pokemon games, uh, but it's also true with the Sim series too, is they really simplify their graphics over time because they want it to be a timeless experience yeah like i have a whole fucking soapbox about like video game graphics where everyone thinks that every everybody thinks that everything should be like red dead 2 which is like the gold standard if you're gonna talk about like and it's fantastic and for that story it has to be that way yeah for hyper realism and you want just like the grittiness of it all yeah. not everything needs to be like that yeah. fucking i was telling you in another episode lego star wars holds up yeah, oh, because it does. it's Lego. Yeah. You just need Lego. It's a smooth, flat surface, easy to animate. And you make something perfect for it. And let's just be real Pokemon games have never had good graphics. <gasps> no. Lego Pokemon. Oh my god. Could you imagine? Only if when you beat a Pokemon, they bust out into little bricks. Oh my oh, god. Lego no. Pokemon. If the Pokemon company wanted to make them, they could because Lego's patent came up years ago. And that's when you got the um, uh, resurgence of other uh, block companies making stuff. Like the McFarlane brand mm -hmm. did a lot of play sets for like uh, The Walking Dead. I've got a few of those. And it was right after their patent came up that they started making these adult Lego sets. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying if Pokemon wanted to, they could. They, they don't fucking Brody, want to. Brody, isn't there a crazy. Lego set that you want? Oh, yeah. Uh, I got a birthday coming up and... I found the Lego Seinfeld set. <laughs> That's amazing. It's, Look, it's it's, it's the awesome. Seinfeld set, but it also has like the little stage that Jerry does all of his uh, pre-show comedies on, where he does like, "What's the, the deal with coffee?" Yeah. yeah, the cold open, like, yeah, beer is strange, and <laughs> and it also has like the little lights, like it's an actual studio thing. Oh! Oh my gosh, that's adorable. It just turns on every asset of my brain. Where yeah, it's, like, it's pretty amazing. And Seinfeld, I've told you all about my Seinfeld dreams, right? I don't know. I uh, tell us again if you have. Okay, so at a young age, Seinfeld was just something that was always on TV in my house because it's funny and Jewish and cool and shit. And everyone would always point out, I think the first time I really was introduced to Seinfeld was... I would only eat the muffin tops as a kid. Yeah, that makes and they sense. pointed it out that Elaine also did that, and they made a whole episode about that. So I was like, "Ah, oh, look at that! You're just like Elaine." And then I just love Seinfeld, and Seinfeld just has like such a unique sound to it that I realized I can fall asleep to Seinfeld, have the entire episode playing in my head through dreams, <laughs> and then wake up as soon as the episode ends. I dream what? in Seinfeld. Holy oh, shit, that's insane. I'm sure that... At least it's not Frasier. Oh, God. That would be... Or Scrubs. Well, Scrubs would be good. Frasier would put me right to sleep. Yeah. But dreaming... But Seinfeld makes me dream, you know? <laughs> I'm sure, like, that's, like, something that, like, most people have. Like, I know a lot of people fall asleep to, like, the news or ESPN. I listen to Bill Burr rants. Oh, Bill Burr rants are so good. I yeah. listen to Mark screaming off into the void. Yeah. Well, I like how we all listen to YouTube videos before, like, while we're trying to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? We, graphics. 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 Yeah. You know what? Pokemon's I never had good graphics. Who gives a shit? Yeah. But they're not good. But they, they're. I don't think they were meant to be at all. They're not. They didn't make this game, and they're like. They're not are made to be this. like unique or extravagant. It's Pokemon. You see Pokemon there. It's easily recognizable. But I will say. I think because they don't have as good hyper detailed graphics, this is something I've I haven't heard any reviewer really talk about. The load times are way better yeah. than any like triple A games willing to put out. What do you mean by load time? So just general the time it takes for an entire open world to load up and just like the fact that you can just run right through it with no buffering issues or glitches. Mm. Okay. Because, like, usual, like, AAA, like, PlayStation, Xbox, open world games, if you want to log, if you want to get into that, you're going to have to sit down for a solid, like, 10 minutes to have everything just process. I'm trying to think. FNAF is pretty bad about that. Yeah. No, FNAF is 
horrible because what you'll do is you'll enter an area and the game will try to render everything at once. So you're like in the doorway and you're in the room. The game tries to render the entire level. And it's and not a horror just the game, room. so you need those details. Yeah, you need the fucking details. Well, I will say Pokemon uh, to their. Um... I, I can't remember the, the term for it, but like how things show up in the distance. The render. Oh, the way just, oh yeah. 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 I know what you're talking it's about. Shit. It's shit. You can literally run like in game five feet and a Pokemon can pop up that you didn't see. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I wish that was Sword better. And Shield, Sword and Shield was like that too. You could go like yeah, five yeah. feet and then something would pop up yeah, and start chasing you. It's more you. annoying in this game though because they can like attack you, but it's, yeah, see, it, it does look just like the wild area in Sword and Shield yeah. look big. And I'm yeah. fine with that. Yeah. What else did we want to talk about? I think Battle like it's mechanics? worth mentioning that like this game is definitely more geared towards catching than actually battling. But, I think that's great. But the I battling mean, is good. Like the, the things that they do different, like set it apart really well. I feel like that's a mechanic from Snap though. Where instead of just battling the Pokemon, you're trying to capture pictures of them. So well, just, like, catching Pokemon instead of... I feel like that's a... Yeah, Snap is just, like, more or less, like, trying to find these Pokemon in the most different po different positions and contexts yeah. as possible. But, and like, have... the point system in Snap seems to be similar to, like, the Pokedex we have in this game and then how yeah. you are reimbursed. Yeah. It's similar. It's not the same, but it's very like you similar. Get, like, you get different categories of research for, like... Having it use an agile style move or watch or giving it some food. Yeah. Yeah. Which is or very like sneaking up on it. Yes. Yeah, very snap inspired. And I think like battling, just like the mechanic of having these agile style moves and these strong style moves makes like such a big idea about speed and power. It, it and gives it gives you uh more options to be strategic. Yeah. Than you would in normal games. Mm -hmm. Have you guys... Okay, I haven't had this happen to me yet in a battle, but has your person gotten hit by, like, in the Pokemon you're battling? Yeah, if you're in the way, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, if you yeah, purposely go in the way, it'll just, like, knock you'll you out stri a It'll bit. strike you? Yeah. I have not had that happen. I was just curious because I... Did you I run didn't... over there into it? No. Oh, well, if you did, it would happen. Really? Yeah, it absolutely just get would get in the way. Yeah, just get in the way and see what happens. Yeah, just take that hit. Like, you might lose your satchel, but someone could find it and return it to you. I've been trying to do that. The lost and found. Can we talk about that? That's pretty minute? cool. That is really fucking I cool. I think you need to get more points for how important the uh, wire item is. It's, if for anyone that doesn't know, there's an item you can get. It costs like a thousand merit points. Mm -hmm. And it's... Uh, a, an item you can use to evolve Pokemon that would normally need a trade to evolve. Which, can I just say, the overall concept of having to trade a Pokemon to evolve it, I have always fucking hated that. I have too, because I never had anyone to play with as a kid. And even now, it's still like a pain in the ass to have to coordinate to do it. Or even yeah. when I was in elementary school, I, I swear to God, if you're listening to this, I knew a guy named, named Grant, which is... <laughs> Somehow the most elementary school name ever. Yeah. I've never met an adult named Grant. I've only known kids named Grant. And this kid, fucking Grant kid was a piece of shit. I was supposed to g give him my haunter so he can give me back a Gengar. And then he just ran away. Fuck yeah. you, Grant. If you're listening to this, I hope like every worst possible thing Having said that, um, I was playing Sword and Shield and I just shot in the dark, traded a haunter. And he traded it back to me. I didn't That's even nice. have to say anything. <laughs> were they named Grant? No. Of course they thought, weren't. I just thought it was an incredibly kind thing to do that non-verbal, non he was like, yeah, yeah, I got you. No, we normally have to like coordinate that shit between the two of us. It takes yeah. about a week of collecting and getting back together. Yeah. That's another but thing. But I mean, we knock it out in 10 minutes though. Because yeah. we, we both like collect all the Pokemon, train them back. And yeah, Rose done. and I do buy opposite games. I mean, now mm. it's not an issue because... I, me and Rose have each other, but it's still, like, for people that don't have a Poke partner, it's really annoying. That's another yeah. thing that I kind of really, like, hated about Pokemon was just, like, like you were talking about, the Biopol games. Do we really need that anymore? I don't think I mean, we need Sword two and games. Sh like, Sword and Shield proved that you don't. Yeah. Originally, the two-game thing was because they couldn't fit all the Pokemon onto one Game Boy cartridge. So that's why they did two games. But I mean, come on. We got way better computers now. Well, no, but then it, it just kind of, it's like the it's thing. Stopped. It's their thing. It gets people to, and honestly, it gets people to buy more games. 
and they still do it. Like like you can't get all of the Pokemon on one like in one game. You have to switch or trade and play around. Which is why most people don't complete their decks. Yeah. Like like now and and as of late, uh, this what did this kind of stuff didn't exist when I was a kid or a teenager or it, it was but it wasn't heavily used. Uh, you resources like uh, Discord or Reddit where you can yeah. meet other people right. and trade with them. Yeah. But I even use those mainly kind of... for Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah I mean, as much as still... I want to hate on it, that... it still takes so much fucking time. Like yeah. it takes a lot of time, as and that's a... still a risk too, because you could you never know if they're just going to disconnect. There's a little Pokemon. protection in certain Discord groups, a little bit, just tiny bit. I mean, it's a little more because like if like you know, as soon as it happens once, it's not going to happen again because they'll get banned. Yeah, and not be allowed to trade anymore. Mm-hmm. As much as I really like hated that about Pokemon, like. My favorite thing about Pokemon in general early on was it was so much more about like the social status than anything else. It's it was it was on like a portable game system so you can show it to someone and they'd yeah. be impressed and think you're cool. You could trade it with someone, you can battle with someone. It was so, very, so, as much of a social thing as it was like a independent gaming thing. Do you guys know why it's a wire? That that item, do you yeah, know? Yeah, because, because you used to have to hook up your Game Boys with a wire. Yeah. A link cord. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's I love that though. That they still have the reminiscent of that, of that yeah. era for them. I it was yeah. fucking annoying to actually have to do. It was annoying, but it's still very unique. Did you see? It was a set photo from some oh. Marvel thing. Oh no! Um, you Captain know what I'm talking America, about? Scarlett Johansson and uh, fucking what's his name? No, were they playing Pokemon? They yeah, all they, they, had they all the had wire. like little classic Pokemon <laughs> Game Boys. <laughs> and they awesome. were battling each other. They had the wire and everything. Yeah. And they were they like in between shoots. They pull out their DS or whatever. It was a, like the, like OG the Game, Game Boys. Boy. Yeah, it was the OG. And they would just whip them out and start battling. <laughs> Which is kind of perfect because you think about like making a movie, especially one that size, you're going to have a lot of downtime as an actor. And the best thing that they can do to really grind like, out bond. on red, yellow, blue, crystal, gold. Yeah, just yeah. grind it out, man. It, mm-hmm. So you've got the fucking time. Uh, we didn't talk about, and I wanted to mention really quick, um, in, in terms of battling, it's kind of related. But uh, the way you uh, change your Pokemon moves, uh, the moves now, and the way you evolve them is different. Yes. I like it. I like it so I like much it better. General, much more, too. General Pokemon care is a lot better. I, I like that because it doesn't just randomly start evolving immediately. Like, you do something, it cuts the screen, and then your Pokemon evolves. You well, can actually choose when your Pokemon evolves. Yes. It's actually, it's so much about, like, because once the Pokemon evolves, you can only get the new research task for that new Pokemon. It's yeah. very smart, and I'm glad that they thought that through. Agreed. I like the I like the moves. I like the freedom behind it. I also like the 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 grit stuff, the grit gravel. They've and the gotten pebbles. rid of um, EVs and IVs, and now you just have grit levels that you can totally max out on your own. But getting the grit gravel and the rocks is is difficult. Yeah. You well, have to catch a fuck ton of Pokemon. Well, to here's get them. the thing that I really like appreciate about it. It's the same kind of effort you would really go into if you were to be Eevee and Ivy. Eevee and Ivy people like that was like when I cut off from Pokemon. Like you Agreed. people are fucking I, I couldn't nuts. go that far. Like that like the breeding and the I can't do it. Like that like there's the grind, but then there's just like like grinding you down to like nothing. And that's the whole Eevee training right there. But like just Catch and release, and then finding one Pokemon specifically, it's the same effort, but like with more of a guaranteed result, which I think is smart. Yes, and uh, now uh, when your Pokemon learns a new move, it doesn't happen automatically anymore, which is wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, um, it's just stored in a move bank, so periodically, like you'll get a pop-up next year, it's like, oh, so-and-so learned a new move. Yeah. Um, and then you can, you can go into your Pokemon's move bank. You and, can change it whenever you feel yep, like it. Yep, edit your list that you can use. It's still only four moves, but you can edit it whenever ever you want to. Yeah, and you don't have to find the um, move dude, like the remember, the reminder. Yeah, the tutor. You don't, yeah, you don't have to go all the way out to the tutor. You don't have to do any of that shit. No, but there's another one where it's like if your Pokemon forgets a move and you have to go to like... Yeah, it'll help you remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to do any of that shit anymore. It's fantastic. It's nice. No. It's wonderful. Do we want to talk about uh, the redesigns of Pokemon? 
Yeah, we touched briefly on, I believe, Gudra. I, I think we can all agree the Growlithe and, Growlith and Arcanine redesigns oh are God. fucking amazing. I Ooh. haven't seen them yet. Ooh. Look them up right now. Hold on. It's, imagine just a puppy Google. with bangs. It has the very, like, old... <gasps> what? I just dropped my food on Gertie! No! Oh, she's okay. I she's okay. She, she's, like, she's fine. She's a happy girl. She's curious about what just dropped on her head. I'm sorry, baby. She's extremely curious. It, I love it when I get groceries and set them on the ground. She has to sniff inside each bag. Like, she just needs to know what's in there. Is anything for me? It's, it's not. Get, Jess, I, I think I've asked you this before. If Gertie was a Pokemon type, what would she be? Oh. I uh, think you fairy said... Fairy and normal. Really fairy normal? You don't think so? I would say fairy electric. Akamaru is just a normal type. <laughs> I love very... how Rose says that with such confidence. Like, he, and, he's like, a at least we can all agree uh, Gertie would be fairy. Yeah, yeah. Gertie she does would have be the fairy. personality of a fairy type. Oh. Like, sweet, but also incredibly sassy. Rose, Cal, your father's dog that you've been watching, <laughs> that's like the most normal of the I was just going to say, yeah, like, I can't see Cal as anything other than normal type. Yeah. No, he'd be a fighting type. No. No, no. normal he... and flying because that dog can jump. Oh, flying, yes. Normal yeah. and flying. Akamaru. Cal the flying dog. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever write a children's book, please name it Calvin the flying dog. Cal. Calvin, no, the, Calvin fl- the flying dog. Calvin the flying dog. He got way too high. What about a plane uh, crash pumpkin? into him? Pumpkin? Fighting. Ground fighting. Yeah, ground fighting. Yeah. Ground fighting. Because she has the girth of a fighter. Yeah, oh, she, she, she really does. Yeah, she girthy. She girthy, uh... A uh, cute lady. Is Growlithe blue? No. Mm, no? Red. Very red. It looks like a tiger dog. Yeah. Oh, with like really fluffy mane? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. It looks like an Asian statue. I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh lo- or God. like a paper lantern dragon. I'm just now getting it. Oh, what? really? That it looks like a statue and that's why it's rock type. Yeah. Oh, oh. my God. I'm fucking dumb. No, you're not. I yeah. don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like the clouds on his... It's a puppy oh. with bangs. Yeah, but like he, on his chest, I don't like how like cloudy it looks. Oh, really? It looks like he's carrying around... Are there any other redesigns? There was oh. Sneasler. Sneasler? I'm not at that part yet. Oh. I know he carries you around. Yeah, in the little basket, Tanjiro style. I don't... That, that one's weird. I think it goes back to what you were saying about an, overly anthropomorphic Pokemon. It's just not good. It's just like... It's too furry. It's too furry. And there's no way Nintendo could have anticipated like how furries design. would take over American culture. I do like the the quillfish, their redesign as a, po- as a poison type, and then it evolves oh. into one with just like... It's the same, but with bigger spikes. It would be cool if it looked like sushi. <laughs> no, not into anthropomorphic... Okay, I, po- okay, okay, we're back here. Uh, <laughs> would you eat it? Would you eat it? Like... Is it um, prepared correctly? For the sake of the argument, yes. Yeah. Oh my for god! Sure. Every time we talk about Pokemon long enough, it, it just goes you back to talk about it just goes Pokemon. back to what does Pokemon it say about us eat? as people, though? Honestly, I, <laughs> that we're just over consumers and monsters. And, it's like one of the first discussions Brody and well, I had if, together. If I if I were to catch a Pokemon and use its power for, to make money. I think like eating it is probably on the same moral level. Brody, I'm with you it's on actually, there. It's actually better to consider eating it because that's like a basic human thing to yeah. think about. Brody, it's like a normal I, um, instinctual thing to ponder. I hate it. I, I googled a picture of it. I fucking hate it. I love it. The you really hate it? The puppy? The, the Growlithe? Growlithe? No, the Sneezer. Oh, Sneezer? Oh, no, yeah, I hate, hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's we all like, don't like it. No, Growlithe I don't like. I don't like Sneezler. Um, I've got on here... Uh, I do like the starter redesigns, though. Oh, Starters the final cool. evolutions? Yeah. I think... I. So, what's the uh, Rowlet final evolution? How do you pronounce that name? I don't remember. Like, I did actually catch Decidueye one. or something like that? Decidueye, yeah, Decidueye. Actually, I, just real quick, I caught one of those. I caught a Rowlet in a time distortion field, even though my first Pokemon with a... Uh, I went with Cyndaquil because I always go fire type. Well, the, yeah. the Typhlosion redesign is amazing. I love with that. the fire main. Purple flames. Yeah. Mm. I wish I had gone with Oshawott because I like their final design the most. Oshawott's I haven't seen that one yet. final design 
looks a ca- war horse seal. Really? Yeah. yeah. But it looks a little too similar to the original, which kind of turns me off. I to took it. Decidueye out of my team because I found a Turtwig, so that's done and gone <laughs> with. Mm-hmm. I got a Torterra now. I know it's not no. a brand new version, but I I did the mission where you uh, catch the Alolan Vulpix, the ice one. Oh, I love that one. Okay, hear hear me out. In the future, the Alolan region redesigns are amazing. I yeah. do like that, and and he, I really just love the redesigns of the Pokemon with different types. Yeah. Hear me out, though. I think in the future, following in the same footsteps as this, I would love it if it was all redesigns. No. Yes. 30%. 30%? 30%. 30% out of 100% of whatever game it is is good. Okay. Because that's kind of like the, the whole thing that I kind of had playing it for the first time. Like, there is a lot of things that feel new, but the Pokemon are the same. Honestly, I would actually prefer to have new Pokemon than redesigns. Really? No, 30% yes. redesign and new Pokemon. Mm. Ooh, 30% no. redesign, 30% new Pokemon, and 30% OGs. No, just 30... 40% OGs. 40% OGs. That makes more sense. That's, mathematically, that does make more sense. That's the formula right there, Nintendo. No. Yeah. Take notes. Yeah, that would be amazing. I would like, but then it's just you're getting the game to get that design. You're not really getting so the game. So usually, for new in every anymore. new game, Look, there's more only people... about ten new Pokemon. There's and... actually not that many new Pokemon introduced in every new game. Yeah, and am I wrong to say that people bought Fire Red more than Blue because there was a dragon on the cover? Yeah, people <laughs> love Charizard. People yeah, people love, love Charizard. And Charizard isn't even in this game. No, Charizard's not in this game. Probably save him for DLC. Uh, no, I, they will. But on, I'm fine with that. I, I think Charizard's great, but there's better Pokemon to use. I also think that there's like enough Gudra? like Gudra's really good. Actually. I do like. I, really I, like I, I don't want to fuck. I don't. Gudra's want on fuck my Sword that. and Shield team too. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like there's been so many like Instagram artists who do so many designs of. Like different type Pokemons. Like I've seen a million different versions of the original starters. Did you like... guys see that YouTube channel I sent in our group chat the other day? I'll have to refine it. Uh, hope maybe we can post it in the description. But it's a group of people. They're they're all artists, and they get together and they are given like three keywords, and they all design unique Pokemon. Interesting. Yes, based off those keywords. I that doesn't ring a bell. I probably have to check it out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's cool if you didn't watch it. I think I sent it to everybody at like three a.m. I was like, "Can't sleep. This is cool. Send in it." Um. <laughs> oh, that's like well, that that's, sounds about right for us, though. That's, that's yeah. me and Rose's TikTok chat, but with more, <laughs> but with more abandoned animatronics. Yeah, yeah. No, we. I just we just find aband. It just comes up on our feed. And we I just send, send each other down a rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's what YouTube is for me, and I found this channel, and it's amazing, and you guys need to check it out. Well, I'll have to go digging through. To You're gonna it. go digging through a text. Oh, My shit. biggest gripe with this game that actually affects how I play most RPGs is the uh, character customization. Oh, I, it's yeah. not fucking good. Sword and Shield is so much better. Mm-hmm. I I I saw like the bullhead penis haircut you get, and I'm just like, this they could have done better. <laughs> I will say there was like one like streamer that popped up in my TikTok feed who when they first saw that they can get like the cool braids cut, they were just like, as a black person, they were just like, you know, this is really is just like means a lot to me. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not even talking on like, like inclusion stuff because they did their best with that, I, I'm guessing, but mm-hmm. just like basic self-expression stuff non-existent man yeah it's not good and i'm not even talking about like you have to wear kimonos and stuff i think i think that's fucking awesome the kimonos are cool but like when you have when you when it's a tailored suit that you're just like running around that you have with, to wear that like, goofy weird. that goofy belt bag with yeah i, that belt I just bag want a kimono dress like everybody else i don't want to wear those tiny fancy shorts i want to yeah. wear a kimono dress can't you take the bag off I don't think so. I don't think so. No. You can't it buy just other has bags. To, it it's just has always to go on. with your outfit. It's your ball bag. <laughs> it's your ball bag. That's where you keep your balls. Where do you keep your balls, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> but um, in my purse. I They're not them. yours. They're your man's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My husband's testicles are in my purse. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hate that so fucking much. <laughs> I know. Ah, oh, shit. Character customization really does suck, though. It's Can bad. We, you know, it'd be interesting to have tattoos. Because there aren't a lot of characters who have tattoos. At all in the Pokemon franchise. Hi, Gertie. Um, I don't think a Japanese-based company is going to do that because overall tattoos are not very accepted, widely accepted in Japan. Do they really not? I mean, oh. the culture is changing, but tra- right. tra- traditionally not very accepted. Okay. Huh. Like, even if you go to a public bathhouse, all your tattoos have to be covered unless you go into a bathhouse that's okay for tattoos. But what do you think? Like, in the future, are they going to want to make more Legends RCS type games? Or are they going to want to go back to the formula? This game has sold so well and has gotten, like, probably the best reviews a Pokemon game has gotten in years. Mm -hmm. I don't see them shying away from this kind of success. I think they're going to continue doing what they've been doing and have a mix where it's like they revamp an older game. Yeah, I think... And then they release a new game. Exactly. I think the only way that audiences are going to tolerate the old formula games is if they are a remake of a game they've already played that they loved. Yeah. And I think that's like what they did with this because they did this and they also did the uh, Diamond Pearl remakes, like the very true to heart remakes. Yeah. I think that was sort of their way of being Because like, they've said they're done with Sword and Shield DLC, correct? Yeah. 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 So, the, so they could have easily done two or three more DLCs for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would have worked. People would have bought them. I have a problem though. Like... I actually really liked the design of um, the creepy town. Oh my god, what's it called? Lavender, and let's Lavender go. Town? Oh. La- yeah, Lavender Town. Yeah, Lavender Town. Yeah, Lavender Town. I like the original design of Lavender Town. I was not impressed with how they redesigned it. I really am not. They changed mm. the song, too. They, they, Yeah, they even changed the song. Like, But w- whatever, though. I mean, I, Let's Go is a wonderful remake. Yeah, no. It, let's, it's let's super go fun. really is. It is a fun game. But I guess that's another example of a Pokemon game that did kind of break the formula in terms of catching mechanics and battling yeah. in general, and they haven't done another one like it. So there is a chance that we're this is just a one-off and it won't happen again. But I think with how well it's doing commercially, that would be ridiculous. Let's brainstorm real quick. What would the next like step in this sort of game format be? I would love a Wild West Pokemon game. Ooh. So wouldn't it be... No, because don't we have... Red de- Re- uh, Pokemon Red Dead Redemption. Well, Americana. Because if we're talking about a time in the Americas that's truly uh, regionally specific... All right. I thought that was... All right, was... yeah. No, let's time, it's time for us to pitch our Pokemon game. So it's Frontier America. Frontier America. Similar mechanics. Similar no, mechanics I thought they fine. did that already. They did, they like, did an American... American Oh, yeah, Gen 5, I think, it's was like supposed Gen to be It's like Gen 5, America. isn't it? Yeah. And then, like, the big city in the middle is supposed to be, like, New York or something. Yeah. So it's Gen 5 remake of this. It's Wild Western-esque. I mean, they've done every other region, too. It's... Yeah. Let's... You know, it's one thing I would, I, would, I would like some more of? Some different biodiversity between the different, like, stages... Because, like, the first one is, like, a big open plane. It's like, okay, yeah. this works. Second one, also kind of a big open plane. But now you're in a bog. But now you're in a bog, which is uh, way more depressing. The third depressing. one, the, the bay or whatever, is chopped up a little more interestingly. I like the to, bay the yeah, most of all around. those ones. Because after that, it's just, like, mountains you have to climb. And that just... It's annoying. I would like something... I would like something a little more dense. I would like a jungle. They should have. I would like a... And I know it doesn't work with the whole vibe of the game, but like, fuck, can you imagine if they took that um, forest in Sword and yes. Shield that's like super psychedelic with the oh, neon the mushroom yes. forest? Yeah, the mushroom forest. Oh, that would be forest. dope as fuck. It made that um, like a, a forest that's like the size of that, a, ma- a good size map. Oh my god. Honestly. The board around. That would like a Wonderland type setting. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland for sure. And it would be full of psychic putting ghost Pokemon that just pop yeah, in and out. Yeah, you can put your Plinkies and your Sinistees. You can put all those weird motherfuckers in there and it works. Game Freak, I, hire us. I God damn. I honestly wish that we got more exploration in that area. Like in yeah. that mushroom forest. Yeah, there's not a lot going on there. You just go to the town, you go to the, the gym. The darkness is supposed to be kind of the obstacle, but all you have to do is smack those shrooms and you're good. Yeah, yeah. really. Gotta fight the darkness, smack those and shrooms. And if your first instinct is when you see those mushrooms isn't to go over and hit it, then I don't... Why are you listening <laughs> to us? <laughs> yeah, really. Hit them shrooms. Hit the shrooms. 
But no, but a, a full-on Wild West um, open-world Pokemon game would be amazing. And there's plenty of Pokemon to fill out the region. Have they done a South American? Because you talked about I don't Jungle. Think so. And it would be really cool to see, like... I know they've done, like, Tropical with Hawaii and the Pacific Islands area. It'd be really awesome to see them go down to South America yeah, and try to like do a, some... inspired by, like, Colombia or Brazil. Yeah, like, the Amazon rainforest would be awesome. Mm. It would be cool, but it still would be extremely similar to recent games that have come out. Yeah. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying space it out. I'm saying if they're going to do another formulaic Pokemon game. Which... Wild, I want Wild West. Yeah. I Wi- mean, the next Wi- one. No, I want Wild West for like the free range Arceus stuff. I want uh, South America for another traditional one. Do we have any final thoughts on the game? I mean, it exceeded my expectations entirely. Uh, Yeah, it's definitely worth playing if you want... If you want a new stealth game that's open world and you can really sink your teeth into but not be super intense, uh, this is perfect. It, and also, if you've never played a Pokemon game before, this is a good one for you to play, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's would... a nice introduction. Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't... Yeah, it's a nice introduction, but it doesn't even have to... Like, you could just play this one and you're good. Yeah. Like, you don't need to play all the other ones. And I think there's definitely going to be some DLC coming after this, right? Yeah. I hope they have a, a game pass that I can buy for mm-hmm. it. Because I know the DLC is going to be awesome. The current state of DLC is like, it's pretty set right now. If something is like planned as a major release, they're going to have some backlogged ideas. And I think you like, you were even texting me. It's just like, oh my God, wouldn't it be cool if, since you're the first Pokemon trainer, the whole DLC is establishing the first Pokemon gyms. Yeah, the, the Pokemon League. I, I would really like that. I, I hope that's the direction they're heading in. Because I just think that would be so much fucking fun to be directly involved in like finding, uh, battling and finding trainers to fill each slot in each major city. It totally fits the theme, too. It fits entirely. But wouldn't that be a time gap, though? Like a major time gap? Because we Uh, don't really get like an idea of when the leagues originally started that much. we We would know because they would just do it. Yeah, it would. I wouldn't say it would be like the established thing that we know from it. But like maybe just like a like well, a recreational be, thing you just started as. Yeah. It'd just be the first one. Yeah. Well, the yeah, first. Why, yeah, it's just the first one. Maybe you're just like trying to make no, the leap forward. If there's no like specific date that when it was established, why couldn't it be established in feudal times? Maybe you try to do the small version of it. Maybe you only make the elite four. Because it honestly has to be something that's been done for generations for how chill all these moms are for sending their ten year olds. Like, all right. Go. That's just what you do. This is just what you do. Go off, sonny boy. Yep. Maybe they start... I would like to see the DLC, like, begin the trainer school. Like, I know we see, like, the beginnings of it throughout the game. Wouldn't it be cool, like, establishing the very first trainer school? That would be nice. Like, it would just, be nice. I just... I don't think that's a, um... Molding the use to believe that Pokemon are not just these angry animals yeah i think that would be a great uh like beat in a longer story about telling the establishment of pokemon league Mm -hmm. yeah maybe they can combine them yeah the only reason i say that is because pokemon school in general is not a huge part of the game no but it's usually like um a place that you stop in around uh before you leave your like uh yeah yeah. when you get to your second or third Mm -hmm. town Somewhere yeah, you go, it might where be you some can... battles or in older games, it's just information. Yeah, you so don't as a place it. where you can go battle some preschoolers, like yeah. in recent games. But in the first games, that there's no battling. You might get an item from somebody, and you just they just like say like you can throw a pokeball and catch a Pokemon. But I mean, they have to be challenge. comfortable enough to mm-hmm. like go see the fights. Like, oh, I, if I go see this fight, will I get struck by lightning? I mean, a lot of them are comfortable enough to use Pokemon in everyday lives. Like, that one woman yeah. needs a Geodude to hold down her pickle jar lid. <laughs> you know what I would they love? They also work the farm in town. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah, love like that. Yeah, like, they're around. That's something that I feel like they kind of missed the ball on. I love the idea of, like, if this, like, sort of town around you built a little more as you sort of progress Agreed. and have Pokemon come in. It, it happens a little bit, like you said, with yeah, the farmlands and the happen. Bidoofs help out with construction. Yeah. But I'm just talking about, like... <laughs> structures and buildings you're talking about and i'm gonna bring it back to red dead but in that first 
uh, Valentine. In Valentine, <laughs> in that first town, there's a house under construction, and by the end of the game, it's totally built. Look, Pokemon Red Dead Redemption. Just saying. I know. Riding a Taurus around. Yeah. You already do that. You write something around. Yeah, but in like an open world desert game. We need to go to Hoenn. No, or, or I can ride a mill tank. It doesn't matter. No, Arthur, if we horse? keep battling and get what? enough money, the, the we can go to Hoenn. I can't, I can't remember the, the, the ground horse Pokemon. I can't yeah. remember its name. Yeah, you would be riding that. No, God I'd be riding damn it, Arthur. <laughs> you gotta catch them That's all. A, oh, so, Sun and Moon missed that. Yeah. Missed off her two. shoulders, utter swaying in the wind. <laughs> what, other, what other Pokemon would you like to ride? Oh, God. I had this We've idea. We've all thought about it so much, haven't we? Uh, oh, my Riding God. and eating, yeah. Uh, one one idea I had, you know... <gasps> oh, my God, the uh, the evolution of Turwig. Oh, uh, Torterra? Torterra would be fun. That would be a fun ride. Too, it'd be slow, but slow. it'd be fun. I too thought slow. of... Oh, well, yeah, know? Brody, we all know you want to ride a Lapras. That goes without saying. Hell, yeah. But you, on top of that, do you know, like, Brever- the bird, the Breveria, or whatever uh, you call oh, them? Oh, yeah. Breviary. Yeah, you fly that around for a while, but you always take so much fucking fall damage. <laughs> what if... Corviknight would be cool. Corvin- you- yeah. Or- what if, when you're about to take a critical amount of fall damage, you summon a little, like, Snorlax? And you just <laughs> and you just Bounce fall off. into it oh, and just like my God. and just that sink and take the fantastic. whole fall. Fantastic! I would love that. I would love that so much. Oh, that's such oh, a good idea, Brody. Gudra, can Gudra fly? Gudra can't fly, but it can roll. It can yeah, roll riding on a Gudra would be fucking awesome. You get dizzy. So sticky. Sticky That's and dizzy. That's why you have a saddle. You'd be covered in goo. Yeah. You get a saddle. I would absolutely ride a goo. Don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's just like how I would love to have a Vaporeon, but that would be a slimy animal. What is the Pokemon <laughs> that's essentially just a T-Rex? Oh. Tyranitar. Tyran- Tyranitar? Yeah, no. the ground type T-Rex. Yeah. The ground type. Probably. You know the names better than I do. I want to ride that T-Rex. He's got like a furry oh, neck. God. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Tyranitar. Tyrannosaur. Oh, Rayquaza. <laughs> that would be just like you would just be going at like like fucking Mach three speed. Oh my god! Haunter. I feel like a god. Haunter. Haunter. He can ride on his back. You can. Would they you, they can decide. Would to he be, be fast? Would you want something that would teleport? No, he floats around. You would just bob slowly, like as you moved around on his back. Cute. Yeah, oh, it would be adorable, him? but it would take forever. Deflume. The yeah. evolute, evolute, uh, the Drift evolve. Drifloom, right? Yeah. Drifloom or something? Like, yeah, Drifloom or the, plume. The, like, the it, thing that's just a big fucking high air balloon. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can like Attach around. a basket to it. Yeah. It'd be so mean. I, I, <laughs> I'm still thinking about what you said, but like, like riding a fucking Bidoof like a skateboard. <laughs> yeah. If there's any artist listening to this, please draw a Jess doing a kick flip off of a Badoo. Oh my god. And please. you can send that to us on oneframeoff at gmail.com. That's oneframeoff at gmail.com. We're also on Instagram and Twitter and also other things. We're starting to get a website going, but that's taking a lot of time because I don't know how to fuck to use the web browsers. We're, we're, we're going to do it. It's we're fine. Do we're going it. It'll happen. Can also drop a comment on YouTube. Also drop a comment and, I don't know, fucking subscribe. say some... Subscribe. Send Shit. us pictures of your dogs and we'll tell you what their typings are. Yes. No, fucking yes. That's a thing. <laughs> no, yeah. yes. Yeah, seriously. I want to see pictures. Send us pictures we'll, of dogs. We're going to put it out to Instagram. Send us pictures of your dogs and we'll guess their Pokemon typing. Yes. Oh, oh please. Wailerd. Wailerd would, would be fun. Wailerd Just like hauling ass through the whole ocean. <laughs> you could like... Um, Machamp, but he just carries you like a baby everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you would go the same speed as if you were walking on your own, but it's just no, like you, it's you nice are. to be held. He rocks you back and forth, and it's just <laughs> running full speed. No, you're just like the... listening to your headphones curled up like <laughs> a little ball. Just the that's the move right there. Don't don't you get carried around by him in uh, Sun and Moon? I don't know. Yeah, you get carried around by some rock type Pokemon. It might be Machamp. Might have been. Because, like, he has to climb up, a, like, a mountain at one point. Do you remember that? No, I don't fucking remember. Oh, my gosh. It's been a while, but I know you get carried around by, I like... I just think the, the, the visual of that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> and he then just... I know they do this in Let's Go, but Genghis Kong, you ride in its pouch. <laughs> and I think, yeah. like, your Pikachu Love or it. Eevee ride next to you. Yeah. It's so fucking cute. Holy shit. Ooh, Gyarados. 
Yeah, Gyarados would be cool. That Gyarados you, would be fun. Gyarados and you just oh, like Grandpa would be the best ride. <gasps> uh, Yo, that that thing looks, and I'm pretty sure it's on purpose, just like the dragon from Neverending Story. Yeah, yeah, it looks like yeah. a Chinese dragon had sex with the luck dragon. Yeah, riding Grandpa would be great. Out of context, those sentences could be really weird. <laughs> I think in context, it was fucked up. Yeah, and take from it what you will. Yeah. You um, don't have to take us too serious. Look yeah, at us. I fucking you can't look it. at us. You can only listen to us. But, <laughs> but listen to us. Oh, well, we We're didn't even so bring up Voltorb's uh, region-specific new design. It's grass and electric, and it yeah. looks like he's made of wood. Because the Pokeballs at the looked. time were made yeah. of wood. What? Well, what there's even that? Pokemon not in there? that uh, use Pokeballs as like a lore, like that uh, Stunfisk or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They have like a fake little... I, I think that's them. They have like a fake Pokeball, like a lore to attract people. So you pick yeah, it up. I remember that. In like caves, the, it looks like it's a dropped item. But and it's the, the other top version of, of oh, it, yeah, the steel yeah. type, it looks like a fucking bear trap. And like fungus or something. Yeah. Like, and a mungus. Yeah, fungus <laughs> and a mungus. They look like fucking Pokeballs too. We got a ton of Pokeball Pokemon. They do be sus though. Amongus? Oh, just a little. Oh, I think we should vote them out. Yeah. I don't hate them. I wanna. I I don't hate them. Uh, just saying. Kind of sus. I don't trust them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually played Among Us. Is it I fun? have. It's a fun game. It's really fun. I, I have I feel too like much anxiety to do that. I feel like it's one of those games that's like like the only real way to have fun with it is if it's with a large crowd of friends that you can no, easily just get argue with. Online with a bunch of like complete strangers. Like, join a random uh, thing, and you just have to be really good at lying. You have to go with the crowd, otherwise you get ca- you get called out, too. It's all about, like, the game of lying. How good of a liar are you, and what sacrifices are you about to make? I'm really bad at lying. I, I don't think I would succeed at this game. Mm. It's so much fun. But no one can see my face, though, so that would be beneficial. Yeah. My face gives it away. Mm. I've been told I have a decent poker face. Mine's you bad. Pretty stone when face. I'm playing fucking poker, you're gonna know when I got a good hand. Like you just have like your regular I'll normal squeal. face, and then you're just like smiley the rest of the time. Oh no! So I have I I've developed like this um like specific poker face where it's like if I want to go stone face, I just the entire rose time. is a brick wall. Can I see much. it real quick? Oh damn. And if I want to go another way, I can just oh, no, smile no, wait, at wait, you. Wait, I need to test this. Uh, do your do your stone face poker face again. Penises. <laughs> I did it. I broke it. <laughs> Everybody always laughs at penis. Wait, do it again. <laughs> All right, it's good. Yeah, the other one is that I just smile the entire the, way through. The oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, let's let's try this one. All right. Okay. Scrotum. Scrotum. Fungus. Among Us? Scrotum scrotum didn't work, guys. I tried everything I could. It's the fungus among us. Wait. Titties. Not titties. Okay. See, if I think I'm going to laugh, I just smile the entire time. So you can't tell if I'm actually going to laugh or not. Hmm. Oh, God damn it. The, 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 I have two types of poker faces. That's that's the perfect poker face right there. Always smiling. Cause it's like I'm just, eventually get I'm just happy to be psych here. Everybody out. Oh yeah, it, it, you it can does. just convince everyone you're a simpleton. It's just like I'm just having fun playing oh, the I'm game. I'm just having fun, guys. Don't worry about me. And then I end up winning the game, and they're like, "What the fuck?" Straight flush. And I'm just like straight flush, and they're like, "There are some what? casinos." What here is this? I win Carolina all the guys money. That I would love to go visit. Oh no, thanks. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Why? You don't want to go play blackjack? Sure. I feel like there is... I've never really been in a high-stakes gambling situation, but I feel like I would probably go crazy in those kinds of environments. I'd probably break under the pressure. See, that's why I said no. But if it's like a simple game like blackjack, blackjack... Yeah, well, you wouldn't play poker. Statistically, you're more likely to win playing blackjack. Just bring a couple hundred bucks with you. Okay. Yeah, you only have to beat the You get to drink for free in casinos usually. While you're, while you're gambling. Well, it's because they're sucking you dry the whole yeah, time. That... I will drink a well gin and tonic and play penny slots. All right. All right. 
No, I... One frame off going I, did, I just said that, and they're both like, you want to know what? That's not a bad weekend. And I'm like, yeah, right? <laughs> and then you, you eat a buffet, and you, like, nurse a hangover, and you go home. I have... <laughs> <laughs> One frame off goes gambling. That's that's the new show. <laughs> Any more fun things you want to say about Pokemon Arceus, though? Any uh, any hot takes? Any critiques? No, it's a fun game. You could skateboard on a sunk uh, stunk fish, though, too. That would be dope. Yeah, on the water. Oh, yeah. you could surf yeah. on a on the uh, low tentacle. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So many missed opportunities. I really think like the memes. I, I know that this is like all the memes. This, all, the memes man. all the memes. I know that this is like more freeing than like other Pokemon games have had, but I still think like an ultimate freedom option. Like no Maybe, civilization, no plot lines. Yeah. Maybe once you beat the game, if that became available. I know everyone said that this is the Breath of the Wild of Pokemon games, but it really just made me appreciate the fact that because Breath, Breath of the Wild, Wild really does game. just kind of drop you in and like, all right. Do it. But it's also intuitive. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, so now, wait, hold on. Breath of... <laughs> I'm just dropped in the world and said, off you go. Well, you That's talk it. to a shrine for a teeny bit, but then, yeah. <laughs> you talk to an old man who compliments you and gives you a glider and says, all right, go kill the fucking evil thing. Really? And then you do it. Okay. Yeah. You, that's all you, you are naturally game. guided through at least the initial landscape, just like how you are kind of in Pokemon, where it's like you need certain things to be able to go other places. Yeah, you get a lot of check marks and tasks to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, side quests, it's not like you're just like idly like I don't know where to go. Like, okay, you have a good idea. But There's even like, like, but the idly I don't know where stuff. to go really is just like the, the best nice. part. Yeah. I do have one gripe about Arceus, and that's like. You have to be a certain level or a certain like uh, research level. Like yeah. I, the only reason I even got my fourth star was because like they said, "Oh, you can't progress until you're you you get your fourth star." I'm like, I don't care about doing all the research, yeah. and, like doing all this stuff. I care about exploring. Like, why do I have to? And I care about the storyline. Why am I being barred? My Pokemon are at this level. See, that's exactly how I feel about the storyline. I'm like, look, I'm already a level seven. I've, I've, I've completed so many dex entries. Why do I have to do this fucking story? Yeah. It's like I said, everyone is trying to hold you back. Yeah, that's yeah. how it feels. There's so many things that do hold you back in this game from being like... Free. Yeah, like map borders, for instance, for me. Because you better believe mm -hmm. I take that fucking stag Pokemon and try to climb every surface of every map. Oh, of course. Yeah. You have to. Trying to find glitches. <laughs> just trying to find my one way up there. They should have... And I know they did this in one side mission. They should have just had fun with it and be like, there's a Mr. Mime, and those are the invisible borders. <laughs> no, you're right. Just plop a few down. Yeah. There you go. There's an infestation of them. Yep. That's wonderful. I don't have an issue with the invisible borders so much because um, Assassin's Creed is like notorious for that. They really are. So you've been whipped pretty hard. Yeah. So I like I have been barred to the point where I couldn't progress in the story unless I did a side quest. Yep. To unlock the border. Yeah, because there's like in Fallout 4 and in Red Dead Redemption, the map is so big that it's like difficult to get upset that there's a border because you very rarely will encounter one mm -hmm. very fucking rarely can you do you remember encountering the an invisible wall in red dead redemption no not really i mean like the closest thing i've really gotten to it is just like a mountain i can't climb but it's like that just even, makes sense though even that yeah that makes sense but then there's so many other mountains you can climb and even like when there's like an ocean border or some sort of body of water it's just like okay now row all the way out and i'm like Rowing takes time in that game. It's like, man, I don't want to do this no more. Yeah, I'm just going to go back, and now I've wasted all this time. Yeah. I just dunk my head well, Plus, in the you water. get to go to that other island briefly, too. Gorma? Yeah. Fuck Gorma. So that's basically all we had to talk about with the Poke Talk today. I'm sure we'll do another Poke Talk. Oh, of course. Not sometime soon. Uh, no. I'll probably bring it up again once I've beaten the game on my yeah. final thoughts, but... We'll still have things to talk about, like Pokemon to eat and Pokemon to ride and yeah, Pokemon like fun, to Yeah, like fun thoughts, with. but as far as like deep diving into games, we don't have new releases slated, as Rose would say, for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I need to finish Diamond and Pearl, so this actually yeah. gives me time to... Uh, 
process I do and too. actually complete all of these fucking Pokemon game. But yeah, Pokemon Arceus, fun game. You've played it, I'm sure. And I don't know. I hope they do a. I don't want to discredit it with this statement, but I really hope they do make the better version later on. I'm down sure the they'll production. do a version. A version, yeah. I want gym real. I want gym bottles in the DLC. Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments. Do you want gyms or uh, focus school? Gyms or school? Do you want to go to the gym or do you want to go to school? Do you want to fight some Pokemon or do you want to learn about Pokemon? Let us know in the comments. We're also on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, we're on. And if you want to message us directly, it's oneframeoff at gmail.com. That's oneframeoff at gmail.com. If you Did have any Pokemon. You post some announcements on Twitter. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Instagram's more for our memes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we our post a lot of memes stuff. on Instagram. We love memes. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah have, we do. And if you have memes to show us, yeah, it's one from off at gmail.com. That's one from off at gmail.com. I'm going to say that until my fucking head explodes. <laughs> or just send us a DM. Or DM us. Oh, yeah, Slide into our DMs. That's a little bit sexier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll just it, glide on in yeah, there. Say hello. Slide in with some Astro Glide and send us those DMs. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye, guys.